Hey guys and welcome back to our international business channel. Well today we're gonna give you some tips and advice to how be a better negotiator in Colombia. Colombia is considered one of the most attractive economies in Latin America and many markets are interested in investing there. However, there are some factors that you need to take into consideration in order to negotiate in Colombia. The language spoken in Colombia is Spanish. 99% of the total population there speak the language. Even though some Colombian firms have staff that speak English, they will appreciate the effort of speaking some words in Spanish and also it will give a serious image of you that you really want to enter to the Colombian market. For an entrepreneur that is looking for opportunities in the Colombian market, the initial approach should be in Spanish with the use of a formal language rather than a regional one. When meeting a Colombian person, in the case of men's, you gotta start the conversation with a strong handshake and a direct eye contact. In the case of women's, it's the same thing, but just a campaign with a kiss in the right check. Normal environment, when meeting with people, it's normal to call them by senor or senora. Professional environment, it is common to call them by doctor or doctora. They don't use a singular like here in Mexico by licenciado or licenciada. If you plan to have a meeting with Colombians, there's a, there are a couple things that you need to take into consideration. First of all, the time. Even though Colombians are usually pretty punctual when it comes to business, there is an allowed tardiness up to 30 minutes as long as you call ahead to let, let them know you will be late. Another thing you need to keep in mind is that time frame is not really an issue and meetings will usually last as long as they, as they need to last. Something else you need to consider is that personal bonds and personal relationships are very important when doing business. So a lot of small talk is expected before the business meeting begins. They will, if you are a foreigner, they will ask you about your country of origin. They will sometimes even ask you about your family. You shouldn't consider this as intrusive, but rather as a way for them to form a bond with you before any business dealings can happen. The last thing you need to consider about business meetings with Colombians is that they don't tend to be direct when it comes to explicit or sensitive topics such as pricing. So if you must address these topics, do it in a indirect and not in a little bit more subtle way than you normally would with other cultures. And you should also consider that business meetings usually happen over lunch or over dinner. And if they do happen inside an office, it is expected that after signing a contract or after agreeing on a business deal, you would go out for dinner or for drinks. Well guys, there are another recommendation that you should take into account before starting the meeting. First of all, you should bring enough business card for the meeting. And another issue important is that you should uh, send an important representative if you're not going uh, that knows perfectly the company in order that in order to in the moment of the of the meeting you will not have to change between him and another representative another important factor is that you should take into consideration it is that you should not under underestimate uh, subordinators or the hierarchy of a company because even though um, uh, leaders in a company can take the, the final decision of some factors of the company. If you are planning to give a gift after the meeting, it is important you take some consideration. Like if, if the meeting was in the business place, you can give a very expensive gift, but like for example a pen, or if the business is planning to be in the, in the house of the party, of the third party, they recommend to give a gift like for example to, to their child if they have or you can give uh, some article that is characterized from your from your son, your region or you can give some alcoholic beverage like for example uh, whiskey, rum 
or vodka. On the other hand, there are some inappropriate gifts that you should not give to Colombian people. For example, foreign beer, since Colombian people in Colombia actually produce a really good beer. Also, you should not give clothes, body lotions, or lilies, since these flowers are extremely used in funerals. Etiquette, Colombians take really serious the way you look. So, in the case of men, you gotta make sure that we will be dressed in a dark suit with a neutral color, and in the case of women, we will be dressed in the equivalent of that or dressing a traditional dress. Unless you're in a coastal zone where it's totally acceptable to dress for short, short pants or skin, just in the cost of Colombia. And now we're gonna give you five do's and don'ts about dealing with Colombians. The first do is that Colombians are very close to their families. So when you try, when you talk to them, try to be respectful and mindful of their elders and parents. The second one, if you're having a normal conversation with a Colombian, try to move the conversation towards the positive aspects. Colombians are very proud of their country and they will appreciate it if you talk about diversity, culture, music, and the things you appreciate of their country. Number three, Colombians will often expect favors from you, but at the same time, they will also be willing and open to perform favors for you if you ask them. Number four, in a country with 70, above 70% Roman Catholics, do try to respect their religion. Even if they don't practice it, a lot of their culture and a lot of their customs come from a religious background. And number five, Colombians are more lenient with the permissible sound and noise volume in a social setting. So be mindful of that and understand that it's not that they're allowed, it's just what is uh, custom in Colombia. And now for the don'ts. The first don't is don't joke about drugs or drug trafficking or drug violence because chances are the Colombian you will be talking to was personally affected by drug violence. Number two, if you do want to talk about drug violence in Colombia, try to do it in a very careful way and don't try to generalize or, or ask a general question about it because these are very complex problems that some Colombians might not, not even know all the facts about. So try to have specific questions and if you can, do try to have a little background information because that will help the conversation carry on better. The third don't is don't emphasize the problems Colombia has with guerrillas and drug trafficking. They are very aware of their problems and in recent years, Colombia has been trying to change their image, especially in the eyes of foreigners. So do try to move the conversation again towards a more positive aspect. The fourth don't is don't generalize Colombians just because they are Hispanic and Latin American. While a lot of these countries have a cultural background in common, every country is unique and has its own history and social dynamic that change and shape the way the country is. And the last zone we have for you is don't generalize and don't use the term Americans to refer to people from the US. Colombia technically is part of the American continent, so if you must talk about Americans, talk or make reference to people coming from the US. Well guys, those will be other recommendations that we have for you today. If you like the video, please subscribe and click like.